Greetings, fellow traveling. Today, I want to ask you a question. What are you afraid of? I ask this because along our journey, we become different versions of ourselves at every moment, at every choice. But when we see situations play out, relationships play out, and we see they're not headed in the direction that we desire, sometimes it's helpful to take a step back and ask ourselves, what are we afraid of? What are we afraid of in a situation? What outcome are we uh, hesitant to discuss with ourselves? And I invite anyone who listens to this to explore that idea. Because in really picking apart what we're afraid of, we get a better understanding of who we truly are, what we want to express in our life and on our journey. See, it's not about conquering every fear. It's more so about understanding the elements of ourselves that we do not want to address and how that could be playing a part in the outcomes that we've yielded up to this point. It's not about the perfect answer. Sometimes it's simply about finding a different answer or an answer in and of itself. Because the obstacles, they will always be there. No matter what avenue of life we uh, pursue, no matter the amount of diligence, no matter the amount of steadfastness, there are going to be unforeseen occurrences unforeseen interactions, unforeseen happenings. And the idea behind these happenings for myself is two things. One is to remind us of how much control we do not have. The other aspect is to show us what we do have control over and how we can utilize that control to get the outcome that we desire. We don't have to know every step. We don't have to know every minute detail. All we have to know is there's a power within us, given by the God that we believe in, that allows us to do many of things. And in the eyes of others, they, those things can be perceived as miracles. Sometimes they can be perceived as happenstance. No matter how it's perceived, we have a power within us that allows us to bring into this reality various various different items whether those items be feelings whether it be memories or as i call the souvenirs we can create different habits for ourselves we can create different possessions for ourselves we can create different states of being we can truly alter our entire state of mind but that comes with knowing that we operate with some power within us and that power that is within us is given by God and not by any other man outside of us. Not by any situation outside of us. So in times where we may not even know what the next move is, sometimes simply seeing what we're afraid of and acknowledging that and conquering that or moving past it, however that looks like for each one of us. Sometimes simply doing that gives us the clarity that we need to choose the direction to move in next. Do with that what do with that what you will. I'm not saying the answer is gonna be perfect, the outcome is gonna be perfect. No, nah, it's not about that. It's about stepping more and more into your power and trusting in you. Trusting in who you are. Trusting in your idea, your vision of your life. And allow things to come as they will. Allow situations to transpire as they will. But give yourself grace as you maneuver through this journey of life. And more importantly, relax. Don't beat yourself up too much. If it's something that you're afraid of, don't beat yourself up too much. Take a little step, take away that little bit of fear. Just a little step. 
And by each and every step, the outcome will become clearer and clearer whether you realize it or not. Sometimes you won't even see it till you're all the way through that obstacle. And then you realize in hindsight, oh, that's what was happening. But it's okay. Acknowledge the fear. Let the weak man say, I am strong, so trust in yourself. And continue to move forward with love and God's grace. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.